another Create and Learn Scratch tutorial for kids. This one's a fun game. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a maze from scratch. We're gonna start from the beginning and demonstrate how to create your own maze. Control the character's escape from the maze with the arrow keys and customize the maze with different themes. Before we get started, I just wanna introduce myself. My name is Sarah. I'm a teacher at Create and Learn. I'm also an illustrator, graphic designer, and a former art teacher. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is create the maze using Scratch coding. So go to scratch.mit.edu and go up to create at the top to create a new project. New Scratch projects come loaded with a default blank white backdrop. Click the backdrop in the bottom right, which will put you in an edit backdrop mode. Then in the top left horizontal menu, click on backdrops. Use the line drawing feature, it's the fourth one down in the left column, to create whatever maze pattern you want. So you can make the maze complicated or simple. Today I'm gonna make it pretty easy just to show you how to make the maze and you can change it up and do whatever you want, get creative. So after you make the maze, we are going to use the brush feature, which is the second one down in the left column. And we're gonna draw a green arrow at the exit point of the maze. This is important because it's gonna let us detect when the player has solved the maze and it's gonna display a win message. So let's click on the sprite to get back to sprite editing mode. I'm using the cat, but you can use whatever you want, a dinosaur, a bat, whatever you feel like. We're gonna make sure that our cat is small enough to travel through the maze. So set the size feature in the lower panel to 20. Then drag the cat or whatever your sprite is to the top left corner of the map as the starting location. Make sure you pay attention to the X and Y values location because that information is gonna allow us to always move the cat back to the top left location every time we start the game. Now it's time to code. Make sure you click on the sprite so that we are adding code only for the character. The first block we want is when green flag clicked from events. Underneath, we want the go to X, Y motion block. And then fill in the blanks with the values for the top left position. That's gonna allow us to reset the game every time we hit the green flag. Most of our code is gonna allow us to control the cat with our arrow keys. So in events, we want the when space key pressed block, and we need to change space key to right arrow. We want to connect this to the change X by 10 motion block. This will allow us to move to the right every time we press the right arrow. We also need to handle the case if the cat walks into the wall and we want to stop any motion. So to do this, we want to add the if then block from control. And then we need to add touching color block from sensing. The color will be the color of the line. So Scratch is a really cool feature to get the exact color of the line. When you click the color circle in the sensing block to change it, you can see that you can change the color with three sliders. But we need a perfect match. So we can click the symbol that looks like a background with a dropper on it. This will open a view where you can hover over parts of the background and select a color. In this hover view, click on a line on the edge of the maze, and this will get the maze color exact for you. When we touch the edge of the maze, we want to undo the motion we just did. To do this, we wanna change X motion block inside the if statement, but we wanna change the number to negative 10. When we hit the left arrow, we want a similar horizontal movement to happen, but in the leftward direction. Since this code will look similar to the right movement, we can click on the one right arrow clicked block and select duplicate. The only changes we need to make in this duplicated block are to change 10 to negative 10 and change negative 10 to 10. This reverses the motion. We also wanna make sure to switch right arrow to left arrow. Now we need to handle vertical movement. From events, get the when space key press block and change the key to up arrow. 
Since this is vertical movement, we want to add the change y by 10 motion block. Like before, we need an if-then block. The condition remains the same as before. We need a sensing block of touch and color, and we can use the same trick to get the exact color of the maze lines. Inside this if block, we need to undo the upwards motion, and we can do that by putting a change y motion block inside while making sure the number is negative 10. We can duplicate the code for down arrow movement through right-clicking the when up arrow key press block and selecting duplicate. Then we need to make the following small changes. Switch up arrow to down arrow, change 10 to negative 10, and change negative 10 to 10. This reverses the motion, which is expected given that up and down motion are opposites of each other. We're almost done. The last thing we need to take care of is displaying a win message. To do this, let's make a new backdrop that represents the win screen. Go to the round backdrop add button at the very bottom right corner of the screen. Hover over this button and select the paint icon that is third from the top. Then go to the backdrop editor and on this blank screen, type a win message like, yay, you win. The text editor is third down in the second column. Now we need to update our code to change backdrops the correct time. After the go to X, Y block that we already have under the when green flag clicked, we wanna add the two looks blocks of show and switch backdrop to backdrop one. The switch backdrop block has a drop down menu. So make sure that backdrop one or the name of your backdrop that contains the maze is selected. This allows us to reset the maze whenever we start the game after switching to the win screen. After this, we need to add a forever block from control. Since we always want to detect if we have reached the green arrow, signaling the end of the game. Inside forever, we want an if then structure similar to the one we built for detecting if the character walked into a wall. We can use the sensing touch and color block to detect when we have reached the arrow and solve the maze. This time, change the color in the sensing block to the color of the arrow using the same hover technique we used to get the color of the maze. Inside the if then block, we want two looks blocks. We first want switch backdrop to backdrop two and make sure to change the backdrop to the one with your win message. We also want the hide block to make the character disappear from the screen. So we only have a win screen. Great job, you just built a maze in scratch. You could also make mazes with themes. We drew our maze on the default white background, but you can first load in one of Scratch's backgrounds and then draw the maze on top of it. Then you can pick a character that matches your theme. For example, maybe you want a crab under the sea or a monkey in the jungle. You could also just change the colors or the thickness of the maze, anything you want. I hope you guys had fun making your maze game. Today, we gave a step-by-step -step guide for building a maze and helping a cat escape from it. If you want to learn how to make other games and animations, check out our Scratch coding classes for kids. And you can try your first class for free. See you guys soon. Bye.